This is a PCBA test fixture. This is the board to be tested. It has test points on the top and on the bottom and it has LEDs. This board has no locating holes in it so I'm using pins around the edges. Each pin is drilled off center so by rotating it the board can be located on the array. This is a pogo array. Some of these pogos hit test points. Some of these are floaters. I'll go into that later. And it has a photocell array to detect the LEDs. When the lid of the fixture is closed, 22 electrical connections are made. This is the upper pogo array. These are your test points here. We have 12 of them on top. This block of G10 is machined so that it pushes on various areas of the board where there are no components, basically safe areas. This is a transfer array. When the lid is closed, these are wired to these so that their connections are transferred through the base of the fixture. The pogo pin consists of two parts, the pogo and the socket. They come apart like this. The socket has a shoulder on it. This plate holds the shoulder down, it sits on top of the shoulder, holding the socket in place. To reinsert the pogo pin, always use a plastic tool to prevent damage to the pin. The test box is made by H plus W test products. It's a good platform for all the work I do. It has plenty of room on the inside for all kinds of electronic goodies. I add, I put in all the intricate details that turn it into a PCBA test fixture and I add the connectors and anything else that's required on the housing. And that is a PCBA test fixture. Thank you.